In this tutorial, we're going to go through how to edit and create and just really view HubSpot templates in general. Um, so to give you a basic understanding, templates are kind of this foundation of all of your website pages and blog pages and landing pages. Um, they're more of a generic structure of a page than they are an actual page. So it could be the case where, you know, 20 pages on your website, which are all very unique pages, are using the exact same template. Um, so it kind of gives you a foundation for each page, and then when you're creating the page itself, that's where you get to customize it. So to get to a template, you want to go to Marketing, Files and Templates, and then Design Tools. This will bring you to the Design Manager, um, where it gives where this is where all of your CSS and um, templates are. Uh, all of your JavaScript, any, anything basic that is essential to um, creating these pages like modules as well will be housed here. Um, so on the left side we have all the folders for um, everything that you have within your design manager. Um, so for example, you know, we have you know, the different folders here. We're going to go to this basic template. Um, so just to use this as an example, this DD Studio basic template, we have a header and a footer. Both of these are global groups, and global groups are essentially just modules on a page that are shared um, across multiple pages. And so when you edit a global module once, it's edited everywhere that it appears. So this is a classic example of you know, navigation, where navigation is always the same across every page. Same with a footer, it's the same across every single page. In this module also we have a flexible column. Flexible columns are great ways to dynamically add and remove specific modules to a page without hard coding the template itself. And this, this template itself is actually just two uh, flex columns. Uh, this other flex column though is grouped. And so like, you know, let's say you wanted to add, um, let's say default modules. You wanted to add a, where is a rich text? rich text. You wanted to add a rich text module here. Well, these, this is a rich text module is independent from this flex column and it's independent from this group, but you can group this rich text with this uh, flex column within this module group. This is helpful if you wanted to apply, you know, a specific class or a specific ID to these groups. So this would be something like a group class. So instead of applying group both to this and this individually, I can apply it once to this entire grouping. Um, but with the design manager, everything again is uh, drag and drop. Um, so if you needed to edit a template and you wanted to add or remove sections from it, again, be aware that templates can be used across multiple pages. So if you delete a section from a template, know that it'll be deleted across all pages that use that template. Um, but you know, as, as you saw, if we wanted to add a rich text module, we search for rich, we drag it from there and here, you know, maybe you wanted to add a form as well. Um, and we wanted it to be a 50, 50 split. We could grab the form and then drag it to this little right side right here. And now it's a 50, 50 split because everything is on a six column basis. So six and six, half of 12, um, it's a 50, 50 split. Again, you can also group these using this group two modules. Uh, now these are grouped together so that if you wanted to apply a specific class or ID to both of these at the same time, you do it in the group. Delete that. Um, you can link specific style sheets. So, you know, for example, we have our fonts and our master styles. We're excluding any domain style sheets. And then you can add um, additional head markup in this section can ass assign any body classes, inline body style, any linked JavaScript and anything closing, uh, any like closing tags as well, like tracking. Uh, some editor options, allow modules to be added and moved in content editors. It's a lot of flex column stuff. Um, yeah, and then again, like if you needed custom modules as well, you know, again, if we wanted to use the all purpose module, all purpose, we would then just drag it and place it there and then that's in the template itself or if again you're editing and creating a page using this template um, you'd be able to add that all-purpose module yourself in either this flex column or this flex column um, and so there's no need to do it in the template if you're using flex columns 
you can preview the template. Now this won't appear like much because again, it is just two flex columns that are empty. Um, but if you're creating a template from scratch and it's a highly custom template, you can preview it um, and see how it is you know, in different screen sizes as well to check for responsiveness. Just make sure that once you're done and you've made your changes, that you do publish your changes so that the template does go live or the edits that you made also go live. Um, so if you're ever in a case where you're trying to publish or you're making edits to a template but the pages aren't changing, just make sure that you've published your changes. You can undo. Um, you can, if you make a mistake, you can go back, you can undo it. Um, so it's a nice little way to you know, save yourself if you've accidentally made a mistake. You can delete templates as well. Um, you have your file. You can delete it. You can clone it, rename it, move it to a different folder if you wanted to. Um, you can collapse all folders. This is just for the tree hierarchy. Or you can copy it to a portal. So let's say you had a template in one HubSpot portal. You can bring it over to a completely different HubSpot portal. Um, you can also create a page directly from here. So let's say I really like this template. I'm going to create a page. And I'm gonna, it's going to be a landing page, and it's going to be LP, you know, demo page. And this, when I click this, it'll bring me straight to the landing page editor to create a page from this template. Um, I can show a vision history, so I get to see all the edits that have been made to this template, and I can revert back to those changes if, for example, something broke at one point and I wanted to go back to an earlier version. Okay. Um, that is that is it for templates again just to give you a refresher templates are just a basic structure for a bunch of your pages multiple pages at a time can use one template um, and so it's just a foundation and then you get to augment and make the pa each page unique just know that once you change a template those changes are propagated to all the pages that use that template